Let's get you the tail of the tape for our main event. Brought to you by Toyo Tires, the official tire of UFC. The sixth ranked Tiago Santos is seven years older than the 31 year old from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Jamal Hill, two inches taller at six feet, four inches tall. We highlight a sizable three inch edge and reach for the minus 300 favorite. Let's set the table with Joe Martinez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here we go, live from the UFC Apex here in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the main event. Five rounds of action scheduled in the UFC light heavyweight division. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, the executive director is Jeff Mullen, chairman Stephen J. Kluber. The three judges scoring at octagon side are Derek Cleary, Sal D'Amato, and Junichiro Camillo. And when the action begins inside the octagon, your referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the judges are ready, and the fighters are ready. Las Vegas, make some noise, and you are ready! <laughs> Introducing you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist stands six feet, four inches tall. Weighing in officially 205 pounds, his professional record stands at 10 victories, one defeat, and one no contest. He is the UFC's number 10 ranked light heavyweight contender, fighting out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Here is Jamal Sweet Dreams here! And across the octagon stands his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A striker standing six feet, two inches tall. He weighed in 206 pounds. In 32 professional fights, his record stands at 22 victories with 10 defeats. He is the UFC's number six ranked light heavyweight contender in the world from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Thiago Marreta Santos. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. Touch gloves and let's do this. When it comes to fight or flight, these two all fight right now, staring each other down for the entirety of those introductions. Jamal Hill, huge opportunity. First chance to go five rounds, but of course, he doesn't plan on it taking that long. Ready, ready, let's fight. This fight clock is brought to you by Toyo Tires, the official tire of UFC. Minus 300 favorite, Jamal Hills in the white, Tiago Santos in the black. Jamal has a very wide stance, wider than usual. Gotta be careful that it doesn't eat too many kicks with that stance. And that says to me he's gonna load up a big, massive left hand. Opposite stances leaves the body open for the big kicks. Tiago Santos has two wins via body kick, the only fighter to do that. Now he switches back southpaw. Three inch reach advantage for Jamal Hill, 79 inches to 76. That was a heavy low kick. Last three fights for Jamal Hill, he's landed a total of 11 significant strikes. That's what happens when you take care of business quickly. One minute in, we saw the level change from Tiago Santos. Yeah, surprising. It's not something you see too often. It's not a bad strategy, though. Make Jamal Hill second guess. I don't think that maybe you're going to shoot. Get him to obsess about the takedown defense. Slow his offense. That was fast. Gives him something to think about. Jamal blocked it, screamed at him, said, come on, buddy. I'm going to take more than that. It was a good try, though. Hill keeping him backed up around the outside. Oh. Big swing with the left from Santos. There's a little left hook, right hook, pardon me, from Jamal Hill. It's very dangerous. Doesn't look like much, but it puts people to sleep. Just ask Jimmy Cruz. Tiago's letting Jamal control the action, dictate the pace of where the fight's going to take place. It's not a bad strategy. We haven't seen really what Jamal Hill's like off his back. Watch the trip. Watch the back, Tris. 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 Watch the trip. Watch the back, T
Nicely done, picked the ankle, used the underhook, draw forward, grabbed an ankle, but Jamal remained balanced, stayed on the feet. He's gonna get off this fence though. Try and pummel in that right hand, get an underhook, turn him off. But this is a smart strategy from Thiago. Force Jamal to grapple, try and take him down. It's a mixed martial arts contest at the end of the day, use all facets of the game. You know, they could both stand there and go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and that's a 50-50, who's going to get that knockout blow? Thiago's using a smart strategy right now, but Jamal's defending very well. Last time Thiago Santos landed a takedown in a fight was against Jan Blachowicz at the main event in Prague back in 2019. He went on to win that fight by knockout in the third round, which ultimately got him the shot at John Jones later that year. Final two minutes of round one, Jamal Hill mitigated to defense through the early going. Knee to the bottom. Yeah. Stop. You heard that one. I no heard shot to the cup no, of Santos. I heard it. I heard it. It hit the cup. Yeah. No doubt. So Santos time to recover here with just over 90 seconds to go in round one. Another look. I do. Right. So does he return him to the and position? Fight. All right. Start him standing. Santos had the position on the outside, but yeah, he I wasn't mean, really asking to be returned to the position. But that, that's advantageous for Santos, though. He had him pinned up against the fence, taking away the range. He's trying for a takedown, gets fouled, and then loses position because of it. Still, so, uh, see if uh, Hill can use it. One minute to go, round one. Thiago was looking for a spinning attack there. <laughs> nice work, getting just out of the way. Shaking off each attempt from Santos before firing back. Jamal's looking confident. Double jab, tries the left. Jagger's going to stand his ground a little bit. He's letting Jamal dictate where the fight takes place. The forward momentum is all on the side of Jamal Hill, but there's the spin. Oh, big counter shot from Santos lands and another big swing. Round two coming up. Sit down, breathe for me. Uh, every, everything agreed on, everything we've done in the past. Okay, there you go. You just, everybody come, just breathe for me. Deep breathe. Very good. Okay. Listen to what I'm going to say. I don't want him to pressure you the way he's doing it. Uh, no, 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 sir. All right. Where's your hand? Where's your striking? I, you're, you're walking towards his hand. Listen, we, if, we, if we don't get our hands on him, we're not going to take him down. He's going to end up planting him and throwing him. Yeah. Keep moving him, keep turning him, then he won't. Stay patient. Exactly. Watch when he switches left, because he's, he's going back and forth. But you're turning him every time. You're turning him every time. You're turning him every time. You got this, Jamal. Keep moving, keep breathing. Welcome back, ready for round two. Things started heating up in the final seconds of round number one. Jamal Hill, a little damage above the left eye, it appears. Let's fight. Yeah, I think yeah. that was the right hook at yeah. the end of the round. Well, last time out for Jamal Hill, it was a main event against Johnny Walker, which he ended via first round knockout, but it was only a 15 minute affair. We're scheduled for that, I should say. So tonight, 25 minutes with which to work. Should it go that long? So a pretty even round, round one. Both guys landed some shots. 
Jamal, as I said, controlled the real estate in the octagon, but neither man really did too much damage. Santos got that right hand, right hook, right at the end of round one, but a little bit of a mouse in the eye of Jamal. But as I say, nothing overly significant. Yeah, Jamal keeps attacking that leg. Remember, Thiago Santos has had a lot of troubles with his knees. Not a bad game plan. Chipping away at the legs. Body kick gets through and provides a loud clap. Another level kick is down. Nice. And he puts him down. And he bails it to get right back to his feet. Santos still chasing a level change. That was a really nice takedown, but almost as equally impressive was the way Jamal Hill bounced right back up to his feet. Nice work there. You can't accept the position. You're going to keep fighting, keep scrambling. That's what he did. Oh, me knocks the mouthpiece out. Santos on a single leg now. Switches to a body lock. <laughs> Dean has it. He'll wait for an appropriate moment in the action to halt it and get the mouthpiece back to Thiago Santos. Trying to inside this takedown. Drives through. Unable to spill him. Oh, spin kick. Hill swarming. Oh, he's hurt. Santos puts his back. In the words of Nate Diaz, now you're a wrestler. Stop. Stop. Go right here. Put in mouthpiece. That was the mouthpiece of Jamal Hill, I thought, since he threw oh. the knee. He knocked it out of Santos. All right, halfway through round number two. The trade knees to the body, that one from Santos, backs off Hill. Oh, nice. Right from Hill, caught the target. Yeah, the right hook. And Santos was hurt a moment ago as well. Oh, big left. It lands for Santos. Oh, that's wicked. This is what we were waiting for. The kick from Santos. Hill saw the opening and landed a jab. Nice head movement. Some deep breaths from Thiago Santos here. Just under two minutes to go in the second round. Thought about another spin. Oh, just missed. Head kick and a big hook from Hill. It's so dangerous when either man just lets go. They both have the ability to turn off the lights with one shot. Jamal's talking to him. A little wild with that one. Hill is swinging out of his shoes with some of these. Final minute, round number two. Hill is starting to press forward a little bit. Right hook lands. Looks like Thiago's definitely a little tired. I mean, end of round two. Swinging with everything is going to do that. Nice little car kick. Well, Santos, who was light on his feet in the early going, but a little more flat footed here as the fight goes deeper. Well, both guys are slowing down a little bit here, but it's because of that. Every time they engage, they. Oh, there's that right hook. Santos is wobbled a little bit. That hurt him. Santos backing up. Final seconds. Round two ticking away. We'll see a third round. After this, we will keep it right here. Sit back here. Sit down here. Listen, you, you're going to get your, your breathing right now, and you're going to listen to me clearly, all right? This is not a bar fight, all right? You're prepared for five rounds, so let's go back to the normal, all right? Let's go back to our strategy, all right? Are you listening to me? 
Eu não quero você I, dessa I don't, maneira. I don't want you like that. Ele pode ficar maluco, like a, mas não he você. He could get crazy, but not you. I like it. This is not a lottery, man. Damn it, man. We, what's happening? É de banão, this rapaz. is not a bar fight. Você treinou para isso? Listen, you're here for this. All right, so both guys landed some shots in round two, both swinging like maniacs as well. No wonder the coach saying, hey, we're not only in a bar fight, we're in a wrestling match with that one, though. Nice takedown, little right hook by Hill there. Right hook there, lands for Santos. And the final one here, nice jab, finds the mark for Jamal Hill. Ready for round number three. Hill landed about double the total strikes of Tiago Santos through the first 10 minutes of the fight. Touch of gloves and ready for the third of five possible. Yeah, the corner of Santos imploring him, this is not a bar fight, let's stick to the strategy, let's be technical. I'm assuming a big part of that is wrestling as well. The problem is wrestling is so exhausting, the hardest physical part of mixed martial arts. And as the fight progresses, it's an easy part of the game plan to abandon, but there it is, that's a nice in entry. He's in deep, can he get it? Good balance for Hill though, but he just gets it down. But can he keep him down? Look at that, Jamal gets up expertly. Almost. Put his head down, put his head down. No effort, the way he got back up there. There you go, now we got him up. Let's push him out. Watch the right, watch his right. Jamal doing the right thing, pummeling in with that right arm. Gonna get double on the hooks, turn off the fence. There you go, keep that up. Yes, yes. Hard cross. He's gonna try to pull that single leg up. There it is. Nice work. Santos showing a new wrinkle. Now to the yeah. back after spilling him again. Look at Hill, urgency to get right back to his feet. A little too high. And Santos still chasing it. Santos got to be careful though. He's expelling a lot of energy. Don't grab the cage. That's really nice work from Jamal Hill, breaking the posture of Thiago Santos. So he's got no base to drive into him or any strength to pick him up and lift him. Forcing the head downwards, controlling the left ankle as well. Keeping that head tucked in with his hips on top of it. And now because of how they went down, it's Hill in the dominant position here. Santos has still got hold of that leg. He's not giving up. Don't go. And now he's got the arms together. Gonna go for a ride. Boom. This is careful. Jamal could give up his back here. He's got to be careful. And on the flip side, Santos has got to maximize on this percent, uh, position, the potential of this position. Personal best in takedowns with four and counting. We're halfway through the 25 minutes. And it is very clear the game plan of Santos, known for the knockout, one win in his career by submission. He needs to pull him away from the fence. Jamal's almost back up here. Now he's not. To the back, Santos. He's making Hill work harder on the ground in this round than he has. All fight, a heavy knee to the left leg. Yeah, that's a nice knee. That one's really hurt. And if nothing else, just forcing a lot of defense from Jamal Hill. He's expending yeah. energy, not able to really score any points with the judges with this approach from Santos. No, no, this is a good round for Santos here. Control, he's doing a little damage. He's tiring out his opponent. And now he's landing shots. Back to his feet once again. Close with some heavy knees. And, or, excuse me, Hill with some heavy knees. Santos not a grounded opponent. Those are legal. Yep, nice Big swing. And now things are heating up a bit more. 
I mean, the, the reality is, though, this has been an absolutely exhausting round for Thiago Santos. He's been relentless, he's been successful, but when you try and go for this many takedowns, I mean, listen, of course he's trained for this, he's prepared to fight this kind of fight. But he's, he, he's sapping the energy tank, that's for sure. They're good shots. He's coming up, he's coming up. Let's go, Tie clinch for Hill. 20 seconds to go in the round. Big shot to the body, answered by a knee from Hill. 16 seconds to oh, hits. Oh, 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 One more takedown oh, attempt, he's successful he's for Santos. And you'll see the takedowns now are coming a lot easier, right. more frequently. So if he can stay with this path for round four, he might get a lot more control time. 15 minutes in the books, new territory coming up for Jamal Hill, who's wearing some damage on the face. Get that little bruise right there. He needs to put it on so it don't swell up. Hey, water. Water. hey water. big deep breaths. Hey, big, big deep breaths. Just control, relax. Hey, find, let me only yep. want water. Find your center and just find, take a breath. Hey, find, find he does it. shorter. You don't got to reach for him. He's coming to you anyways. Yeah. All right? And you already know he's going to just try to take you down. So just tight shots when he comes to you. Yeah. Okay? Um, Tight shots when he comes to you. Come to you anyway. Just be patient and let him come to you. There's Big no deep breaths. You're winning every round. He's just holding yeah. on to you. You have all the stamina and effort to do this all, all, how many times, as many times as you want. I just don't want you to lose your conscience and go back to a bar fight, okay? Listen, that's the game, brother. That's the game, all right? After tonight's main event, next, don't miss a recap of all the action on the UFC Fight Night post show on ESPN+. Plus. Dean Thomas, Rashad Evans, join Dan Helley for all the highlights and analysis, plus Heidi Andral has interviews with all the big winners from tonight's card. The post show is only on ESPN+. Plus. Fourth of five possible rounds here. Uncharted territory for Jamal Hill. Well, if you're Jamal Hill, though, you know Santos is going to shoot at some point. But as I was saying at the end of the last round, the takedowns are coming more frequently. They're not being resisted as much. So if Santos has the energy, the conditioning to continue with that game plan, it could pay off now. But that's a big if. And that was a close hit to the, to the groin. Oh, he got by Herb Dean. Action continues. Body kick close to the belt for Santos. You wonder how much sting is on the punches of Hill. This late into the fight. Oh, that's nice. Second win. And now Santos is starting to swing back. Oh, nice right hook. That was a good shot. Unofficially 19 takedown attempts through the first 15 minutes of the fight for Thiago Santos. He knocked six of them, doubling his previous personal best. I'll tell you what, Thiago Santos is in incredible shape. That is not easy to do. And how much does he have left? He's not right now. Months. And he's eating some damage from Hill. Shots. Thiago's hurt. Knee. Big knee up top. Sweet dreams is starting to feel it. Oh, big shots from Santos. I mean, how Hill has him him. a problem. Jamal Hill are going to put the finishing touches on this one. Be it. Thiago's hurt. He's just covering up at this stage. He's working his way up, though. He's building a base. Still fine. Tries to show signs of life. Does he have anything? Yeah, he's still fighting, he's turning, he's defending. Hill postures up, but Hill is still attacking. He put some power and put an exclamation point on the night. That's it. That'll do it. No judges needed in Las Vegas tonight. Jamal Hill putting in the finishing touches on a historic night at the UFC Apex.
dragged into deep waters. He closes his eyes and says, I belong. Wow. Well, he certainly belongs, and he showed that in this back and forth here, because both men were swinging, and both men had success. Both men did damage, but it was Jamal Hill that persevered, just better output, more damaging shots. Nice jab, that one-two there, found the mark. This is the beginning of the end now. Nice jab. Tiago just kind of crumbles there from the force of that jab, goes down, ground and pound assault. Tiago trying to get back to his feet, but Jamal just one step ahead, gets on top here, and just one after the other after the other and eventually Thiago he can't take it anymore he covers up because the onslaught is just too much Jamal Hill in three quarter amount there firing down with massive elbows Herb Dean has no choice but to stop this Jamal Hill wow you had a sense that Thiago Santos gas tank was maybe approaching empty after all that wrestling Jamal Hill back in the winner's circle will make it official next